What is going on guys? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another new stock for you all to keep on your radar. That is ticker symbol SESN for Sess and Bio. This is a company that was brought to my attention from a fellow Patreon. So shout out to Tribit. You're the one who brought it up to me. So thank you so much. I did my deep dive on it. Some due diligence that I truly think that this might be a winner because it has some short term catalysts as well as some long term ones. So guys, without, a fur without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So Sesson Bio, this company here, again, the big thing that they're currently working on is cancer treatment, specifically in bladder cancer. And they have a product here, as you can see, it's called Vicinium. So it's a novel lead product candidate that we that they hope will change the treatment landscape for patients with high grade non muscle invasive bladder cancer or NMIBC. To date, Vicinium has uh, been well tolerated in, treat, uh, in treated patients and has demonstrated efficacy, again, showing some results in about 17%, so 17 of people had complete response rates for patients with the 12-month follow-up in, in their own ongoing phase three clinical trials. Guys, that's pretty significant. And I love their website. I love their homepage here. And it kind of tells you, again, bladder cancer, unfortunately, it's the sixth most common cancer. 72 is the average age of diagnosis. So again, we see it more in our geriatric uh, patient population. 80,000 new cases each year in the United States alone. And again, the approximate annual costs, again, with that being said, you know, chemotherapy, so the different type of treatments, if it might be radiation, whatever it might be, regardless, it's about a $4 billion annual cost. So the total addressable market for uh, their product here, uh, for Sess and Bio, and just treatment of bladder cancer is pretty big, a $4 billion market, uh, potential total addressable market where they can potentially save some of that healthcare expenditure, it's pretty big. So as you can see, They've have, they have some updates, but it's been a while. But the thing that, of course, really excited me is that an article was recently put out. Before we dive into that, I want to talk about you know, the leadership. If you look through their CEO, I read his bio, a guy who has over nearly 30 years of experience in pharmaceutical companies. So Thomas Cano, he's actually a doctor of veterinary medicine. So I know I've been talking about Zometica quite a bit on my channel. So interestingly enough, this is a guy who's actually an animal doctor. But regardless, he has a lot of industry experience, 27 years at Merck & Co., so again, he's helped, um, he helped successful commercialization um, and profitability of Contrave. So again, another pharmaceutical product that's currently out there in the market. Regardless, as the CEO and their exec team, definitely check off in my book. Remember guys, my channel is not for financial advice. Rather, I'm trying to put you guys on the plays that I'm in and things that I'm interested in. So as you can see here, if you go down their different programs, so they're developing fusion protein therapeutics for the treatment of cancer. So their fusion protein approach tethers a tumor targeting antibody fragment to a protein cytotoxic, uh, cytotoxic payload to form a single protein molecule designed to selectively and broadly kill cancer cells while minimizing toxicity to healthy cells and to activate the body's innate immune response system. Guys, those are the key words that we look for when we talk about these different products and these different companies. Selectivity, right? And less toxicity, toxicity to the, um, the remainder of our normal healthy tissues and cells. So just wanna kinda highlight that there. So one big thing that really excited me is again, Vicinium here, it is actually currently completed phase one, phase two, and they're ending their phase three clinical trials. So again, when I talk about a short-term um, short catalyst, that's it right there. So as you can see, they've actually completed their uh, BLA. So they submitted their biologics application. So with that being said, again, um, if you see here, when it comes to Yahoo Finance, they actually made an announcement. This was as a Monday this week. So Sess and Bio reports fourth quarter and full year 2020 financial results and significant regulatory and commercial readiness progress for the company's lead product candidate, Vicinium. So I talk about it, you know, and we can go through all the things that I've been speaking about a little bit. You can go and do your own due diligence about the company, about their phase three results that they've been seeing. To me, they're pretty significant enough to make me interested and potentially invest in this company early on. Now, this article, love the fact that they highlight the big key things, but the, the strengths here is that their balance sheet is looking better than before. So we saw, if you look back, you can look through their, um, through their website. It looks like previously they reported in 2020 they had about a $47 cash, $47 million cash on hand or equivalents. Now they're double that or a little more, 98 million in cash and cash equivalents as of February 2021, just the end of last month. 
Biologics license application, as I just mentioned, has been accepted by the FDA under priority review. So again, they think this is urgent. So it's again, hopefully going to get approval here in the sooner than rather than rather than later. Marketing authorization application submitted in Europe with potential approval early 2022. So Sess and Bio actually really really interests me. So again, you could read through all about it. And the big thing here is it's a late stage clinical company. So guys, do your own research. Go on clinicaltrials.gov. Get into the habit. If you're someone that wants to start investing into pharmaceutical companies, get into the habit of looking just at a very broad overview of what are their results looking like relative to some of their competitors. Is this a company that's going to truly do well if their product gets commercialized? And you can see here, you know, based off their just you can do quick uh, quick pharmacological related um, research or just looking at some of the data points that they get some of their like 44 percent so you can just read through this do your research and you'll be I think pretty impressed when you look through this company so again we kind of talked about their board and of course the price action and the price targets and what institutions are doing so guys those are the big things that we also want to look at is not only as small investors should we look into a company that we're excited in or just because the numbers are looking good, but rather we want to know what are the big institutions doing? What are the price targets from Wall Street analysts at? Just to kind of assess, is this truly a good time to potentially buy in? So if we look at the one year, a year ago, March 2020, this company was at 39 cents a share. So since then, it's it's up about 671%. Pretty significant. Not as much as we've seen in other pharmaceutical companies, but regardless, pretty significant. You can see here, down in the last month, came down about 22.71% and came back up about 22.86%. So holding pretty strong. If we look at the last month or so, it held that over $3. Looks like there's a pretty strong support line around that area, but don't take my word for it. Let's look at stock TA. So here you can see there's a strong support line at 286. We have resistance at $3.10 and 352. So we need to break those resistance points before we can um, you know, see a lot better price action for Sess and Bio. Again, short-term catalysts or th good news, good sentiment surrounding the company. As those come out, the stock surely will have hopefully more and more people deciding to buy in. But I want to put this on your guys' radar before the news is announced. Rather, we could buy the rumor, as I always say. So you can see here, good entry points for the stock. Again, entry points that I'm more comfortable in. If it gets down to 286, I love it. I would definitely start loading up uh, $2.40. Again, even better, under $2, fantastic. And you can make your way down to see where are you, what support line are you comfortable entering into a stock? This here could be um, you know, potential opportunity for you. All right, now, institutional holding and institutional buying. So what are institutions doing? So you can see the 13DG filings. And again, this is fintil.io. I'd like to be very transparent with where I get all my information. But if you scroll down, and you can look through, let me make my screen a little smaller. If you guys scroll down and look through, you could see um, what are the institutions doing. So you can see Vanguard has a, a few of the index funds that they have. So again, the Vanguard institutional total index fund, and you can see the extended market total stock, 3.3 million shares held and they're holding strong, 2.2 million shares held of Sesson. So you could look here, you could see here, pretty significant holdings from pretty reputable institutions. Fidelity, looks like not too much, but some, uh, Charles Schwab, 56,000 shares holding strong. It looks like the average price for Charles Schwab is $1.41. So they bought in at a pretty good time. And not all these institutions have decided to make their um, information public on their average cost. But it looks like $1.38 to $1.40 are great prices because that's when these institutions decided to load up on them. So just some information for you guys to kind of uh, make the determination whether or not you think that this is a company that is worth buying. Look what the institutions are doing. They know stuff that we don't. And of course, the price targets. One of the my one of my favorite gauges before I buy into a stock is to see where is Wall Street rating this, especially if it's a stock that's been well established for a long time. So for Sess and Bio, a company that is getting ready to complete its phase three clinical trials this year, so anticipated November 2021 for all the trials to be completed and hopefully have FDA approval if all goes well. Seven dollars is so it's considered a strong buy, but seven dollars is the average price target. Again, on the high $8, on the low $6. We can see here, so uh, Mr. Ramak, or yeah, Ramak, he is the one who put Zometica's price target at $1.20 and we blew past that after the you know, True Forma 
launched and everything of that nature, we blew past that to even $2. So him saying $8 price target, that could be very well reached. And I truly think that this is, these are very possible number. So it's again, considered a very strong, it's considered a strong buy. I shouldn't say very strong, but a strong buy. So potentially right now might be a pretty reasonable time to get in. Can get some skin in the game if you're interested. For me, what I'm doing is I have not bought yet. I like to make my videos sometimes prior to me buying a stock. So again, I don't have that whole pump and dump type um, association. But again, I have not established a position in um, Sesson, but I'm looking to potentially do so tomorrow. So tomorrow when the market opens, ticker symbol SESN, I'm looking to maybe start a position in the stock because I truly think they're gonna do well long term. Quick glance at the Robinhood portfolio, the 1K to 10K challenge. This is one that I kind of want to get on this um, on our list. But for right now, again, still hovering about $1,000 at 982. So down about $18 from our initial investment, but potentially looking to maybe potentially get out of a play here soon. Um, once we're up at least a decent amount on one of these and then buying into Sess and Bio to add in here. But for sure, I'll be loading up on this one for my main portfolio. And again, looking back at the prices, at 286, I love it. 240, even better. A dot under two dollars, I'm going all in. I'm gonna buy a whole lot of shares of Sesson. So again, guys, do your own research, do your own due diligence. Please feel free to join the Weeble if you want to start um, buying stocks in the pre-market and the aftermarket. It just gives you more accessibility than Robinhood. And also, feel free to cop some merch. We got some sweaters, some tees, phone cases, masks, whatever it is that you like. Feel free to cop some merch. It does support the channel quite a bit. And also, I hope it blesses you with some nice clothes. You know, it's time maybe to get that spring spring swag on. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, keep investing.